Okay, this is a lesson on making sure that pronouns match up with the subjects to which they refer. That the they, in this case, matches up with its antecedent student. Well, it doesn't, because they is, you know, would be plural, means more than one, and student means one. If a student wants to pass this class, they must do all of their work. They and there are both plural, student is singular, it doesn't work. You can correct it this way. If a student wants to pass his class, he or she must do all of his or her homework. But that's kind of cumbersome. You can get rid of the, uh, the slash here instead go with, if a student wants to pass his class, he must do all of his homework if you're a guy, or she must do all of her homework if you're a girl. But probably the most logical way to do it is this, and that is to turn the subject into plural to match up with the plural they. If students want to pass this class, they must do all of their homework. And I'll make that this way as well. Next example is down here, and it's pretty much the same thing. Treat the customer as if they were guests in your home. They is plural. Customer is singular. It can't, doesn't work. Treat the customer as if he slash she were guests in your home. That's cumbersome again. Treat the customer as if he was a guest in your home or as if she was a guest in your home. You can do that. But I still think the best way to go is to stay plural. Treat customers as if they were guests in your home. The second part of this is with indefinite pronouns. And this is the part that really messes students up. An indefinite pronoun is listed as follows. Anyone, anybody, everyone, everybody, someone, somebody, no one, and nobody. They're always singular. And it says there's, it's sometimes perplexing to writers who feel that everyone and everybody especially are referring to more than one person. But the grammar people say those are singular, so that's what we have to live with. And the same is true of either and neither, which, is, which are always singular even though they seem to be referring to two things. So let's go with this basic kind of thing here. If anyone wants to pass this class, they must do all of their homework. Anyone is singular, they is plural, there's a problem. If anyone wants to pass this class, he slash she must do all of his slash her homework. And again, that's cumbersome. I mentioned up above how you can change that. I think the logical way to do it is to get rid of confusing words like anyone. Instead, replace it with uh, a noun. If students want to pass this class, they must do all of their homework. It's a plural, plural, plural. Getting rid of this uh, pronoun that people don't understand. Same thing down here. Treat everybody in the store as if they were guests in your home. They is plural, everybody's singular. Treat everybody in the stores as if he, she were guests in your home. No, you don't want to go there uh, because it's just, it, again, it's cumbersome. So instead of doing that, treat customers as if they were guests in your home. Plural, plural, you know customers is plural, you're not so sure about everybody, go with the noun.